Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Srihan Academy YouTube channel. In today's video, we will discuss some important questions chapter wise and that also mainly for three chapters I mentioned here. First one it is electric charges and fields and current electricity and moving charges and magnetism. Why I mention only these three chapters means as per the new blueprint compulsory one three marks question one five marks question will come from these three chapters so that means one three marks one five marks means total eight marks so we'll cover only we studied five marks and three marks questions and most of the students they're asking in comments so upload the some important questions chapter wise so that's why i'm doing this video so if you are uh, watching the new first time uh, srihan academy youtube channel please subscribe and click on the bell icon and we'll get the notifications sorry for the delay for days or 15 days there is a gap from the last video and this video so there is a, some uh, emergency so i went outside so it's uh, i don't have time to upload the videos so from today onwards again i'll upload the daily one or two questions uh, one or one or two videos okay please follow the a Srihan Academy YouTube channel will get the best marks in coming uh, PU board exams and CBSC also. Let's start today's video. First one it is uh, electric charges and fields. First three marks we'll see. <coughs> Mention three properties of electric charges. Mention they are asking question it is a mention no need to explain anything just to mention the properties of charges so like uh, additivity of charge and quantization of charge and the conservation of charge like charges uh, uh, repel each other and like charges attract each other like some points next to properties of field lines and define electric intensity at a point we have to write the first definition then derivation for electric field intensity due to a single point charge and the next one it is obtain the expression for torque acting on a electric dipole placed in uniform electric field and then continuation five marks question from the same chapter so obtain the expression for electric field at a point along the axis of dipole axial line question it is and the next one it is equatorial plane obtain expression for electric field at a point on the equatorial plane of electric dipole and continuation one more question using gauss law obtain the expression for electric field due to infinitely long straight uniformly charged conductor gauss law first application and the next one it is the this is the gauss law th last application third application so we have to obtain the expression for electric field due to charged conducting spherical shell at a point outside the shell that is only important for five marks question and inside on the surface it is important for uh, mcq question and two marks also so that is also once you revise and next chapter current electricity okay so here three marks questions what is the drift velocity and mobility of free electrons and reduce the expression for it we have to derive the drift velocity derivation okay next one state ohm's law and uh, write the limitations of ohm's law this is also important here and next third question derive an expression for equivalent resistance when resistors are connected in series and the next question it is when the resistors are connected in parallel and derive an expression for main current in the simple circuit like uh, i is equal to e by small r plus capillar small r is internal resistance capillar it is external resistance and the next one it is write the applications of potentiometer and on what factor resistance of the conductor depends and the eighth one it is state kirchhoff rules in electrical network these are the three marks questions from the current electricity. Let's start with the five marks questions. Define relaxation time. Derive the expression for electrical conductivity of material in terms of relaxation time. Okay. And the next one, obtain the expression for effective EMF and effective internal resistance when two different cells are connected in parallel. And the next one it is obtain the expression for effective EMF and effective internal resistance when two different cells are connected in series. And the next one it is the reduce the condition for balance of Wheatstone bridge. 
or extra network using captcha flask this is also most important questions so out of these four compulsory one five marks question they'll give in the final exams and coming preparatory exam also and next chapter moving charges and magnetism first three marks questions we'll see so expression for radius of circular path traversed by charge in uniform magnetic field in the second question force on uh, a current carrying conductor placed in uniform magnetic field this formula it is f is equal to ilb sin theta the final answer so just uh, derive that equation and the next one state ampere circuit law statement we have to write and derive the expression for magnetic field due to straight infinite conductor using ampere circuit law so that means uh, b is equal to mu naught i by 2 pi r1 formula is there that derivation next to two uh, ampere circuit law is there okay then next one fourth question conversion of galvanometer into ammeter at the same time galvanometer into voltmeter also these two questions are also important for three marks and the next one state and explain by Edwards law these are the three marks questions uh, from the chapter moving charges and magnetism and the next five marks questions the most important question here the force between two parallel current carrying conductors at the same time we have to define the one ampere definition also that is only including five marks and the next one derive an expression for magnetic field along the axis of current carrying circular loop this is also very very important question maximum out of these two one question will come in final exams okay even in preparatory also because the why how i uh, explain the like this means the previous exams repeatedly they are asking only these two questions in the rare case one more question is there so that is the derive an expression for torque on a current loop placed in uniform magnetic field this is also an important question sometimes the rare and uh, not repeatedly sometimes they are asking this question also so okay so first these three chapters if we covered all these three marks and five marks questions so each chapter 888 eight, eight. So 24 marks, there is a pass mark here. Okay, including again one mark on uh, MCQ questions and uh, two marks questions is also is coming from these three chapters. But uh, uh, MCQ questions, uh, we cannot expect how they'll frame the questions. So we have the some model papers and uh, board released papers and some uh, um, lecturer forms also they released. I hope you raise those, uh, you have those questions. If you don't have, please comment in the comment section. So I'll do, I'll upload those uh, MCQ questions also. Okay, uh, which is really.